Hey guys, it's Grim. Uh, we're gonna do part two of the multi-factor authentication for Office 365. So in the previous video, we have enabled the uh, multi-factor authentication for this particular user, uh, but we haven't done anything with it yet. So we need to set up two-factor authentication for the, the, uh, the Office Online portal, the web portal. Um, and in the video that I'm going to do next, we will set up the app password for usage in, like, for example, mobile devices. Um, so, but first things first, we're going to set up the, um, the web portal today, so the two-factor authentication. Um, so I'm going to use a mobile phone for that and the uh, Microsoft application that's available on the, uh, on the mobile phone. Um, so that's the Microsoft Authenticator, which you can just download from either uh, Google Play or your, um, your Apple Store. Um, and that is a, a Microsoft app, so uh, it's, it's a very le legit app, nothing fancy about it. Um, but you just need to enable it with regards to your account, because otherwise you can't use uh, two-factor authentication. Right. So... Um, I've entered the password. Uh, I'm going to click login. Now you can see that it's not logging in, although I did enter my password correct. Uh, you can see that it, it, the account needs to be verified, so we need to set up the multi factor authentication. Unfortunately, I've had this session in Dutch, uh, but this is basically saying set it up now. So I'm going to click that. Right, so the screen that we get after uh, clicking the setup now button um, is this one. So we need some additional security verification. Now, there is uh, uh, multiple re um, um, ways to contact you. So that's the authentication phone. If you click that, you're just going to uh, need to enter a, a phone number in there and they're going to send you a text or a code or they're going to give you a call, then uh, you can give up an, an office phone where they can call you, or you can do the mobile app, which I've chosen. So I'm going to click the mobile app button. Uh, so how do you want to use the mobile app? Receive notifications for verification of use the verification code. Um, so personally, I like the, the top one, um, so I can get a pop-up screen on my mobile phone mentioning uh, if I approve or deny the login session. Uh, and otherwise, you can just, like all other kinds of authenticators, like the Google Authenticator, you can use the actual code to fill in. And from there on, you can log in into the, um, into the Office 365 portal. I'm going to do receive notification for verification. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to click the setup button. It's going to configure the mobile app. Now, if you downloaded the Microsoft Authenticator app on your phone, you can see it, you need to install it. Um, so on your, on your particular phone, in the app, add the account and choose work school account, scan the image below. So you're gonna uh, scan the QR code. Um, and basically, if you, choose uh, next but I'm not going to do that I'm actually going to do a scan with my phone right now so I've just uh, used the authenticator app on my phone uh, I've scanned the QR image um, and I'm gonna I'm, I'm ready to click next so it's checking the activation status to hang on so and you can see that the mobile app has been configured for notification and verification codes um, and that the only uh, thing that I just did uh, again was actually scanning the QR code with my Microsoft um, uh, app on my mobile phone I'm going to click the next button so let's make sure we can reach your we can reach you on your mobile device app so I can I now get 
an approve or deny screen on my mobile phone from the app. So I click the approve button um, and you can see if it, it, it's awaiting a uh, response. So it, it got its response and we're now going to do the additional security, security verification step uh, by adding a phone number to the account. So if you lose anything, you can just use this one uh, in order to gain access to your account. So um, let's pick the Netherlands where I'm at, and then I'm going to just click a fictive number. Click the next button. So, and you can see that you can keep using existing applications in some apps like, like Outlook, Apple Mail, Microsoft Office. You can use a phone to secure your account. To use these apps, you need to create a new app password to use in place of your work or school account password. So uh, this is an actual password. This is uh, just a trial tenant, so it's not been used for anything right now. So normally you're going to use this password in order to set up, like for example, your Outlook client on your mobile phone. I'm going to do nothing with it. I'm going to remove the tenant afterwards anyway. Um, but we, I'm going to show you in my my next video how you actually can create an app password for every app you like. If it's SharePoint on your mobile phone, if it's OneDrive on your mobile phone, or it's just uh, the, the email client that you're going to use on your mobile phone. You really need that in order to use it in uh, conjunction together with um, with the MFA, so with the multi-factor authentication app on your phone. So I'm going to click done and you can see that I'm locked in um, using MFA right now, using the app on my phone. And basically that's it. So if you like my videos, please click the, the like button, uh, give it a thumbs up um, and follow me on my on my channel because I'm, I'm regularly trying to, uh, to publish new videos of technical stuff. Um, if you have any suggestion what you'd like to see, please leave a comment um, and I will try to add it to the list. The next video that I'm going to publish is about the um, the, the app passwords for multi-factor authentication. So keep eye on my on my channel and see you next time. Cheers, bye.